It's hot for us here too, but we're not seeing 120 degree temperatures. We're going to see temperatures around 104, 108 for tomorrow. But trust me, slightly cooler days are ahead of us. But the, we also have that we are also tracking rain chances as well. But we're going to take you to the tropics right now. Tropical Storm Claudette working its way through the Gulf of Mexico into Alabama, the panhandle of Florida. We got tornado watches, flash flood warnings. It is not looking pretty, affecting nearly 7 million Americans. So if you have any friends, family out there in this area, just make sure you shoot them a text, make sure they're doing okay. Just see those heavy rain bands just wrapping around all the way through Montgomery, Birmingham, and Tuscaloosa. Now for us here in the borderland, moving it closer to home, the reason we're seeing these hot temperatures is this ridge of high pressure. Sitting around the Four Corners area, it's going to continue to dominate the southwest. This high pressure system will eventually begin to work its way to southern Arizona and create this bubble of heat where we are just going to be trapped under these hot temperatures. Across Arizona, they can see temp highs in 118 degree temperatures, 115 degree temperatures. For us here in El Paso, we'll see those triple digits, but not as hot. But keep in mind, folks, June is one of the hottest months of the year. We usually average around 95 degrees. And from here on out for the rest of the summer, we will gradually start to cool down, but it's still going to be pretty hot. Uh, as our monsoon season officially kicked off earlier this week, and hopefully we can see some rain and not see a non-soon. Now, we do have an ozone action day for your Juneteenth holiday, which means unlevel, uh, unhealthy air quality is in the air. So those of you who have any respiratory issues such as asthma or COPD, it's best to limit any outdoor activities. And that's in place from 11 a.m. today up until 9 o'clock tonight. Now here's our rain chances, and they're going to be slim, but we still got to throw them in the forecast. Five o'clock, you'll see those clouds start to push into southern um, New Mexico. And a lot of this is going to be Virgo, which means it's going to evaporate before it even hits the ground if we do see any rain showers in the forecast. Now Sunday looks to be a little better. Still a 10% chance to see some stray isolated storms develop across our area. Maybe Las Cruces, maybe down to El Paso. But we're keeping an eye on this very closely up until maybe overnight Monday at 3 a.m. We begin to th clear things out. And then Monday afternoon, we could see another round of some showers and storms begin to develop. Of course, when these storms do develop, they develop very quickly. It's always so important to stay with ABC7 with your latest forecast. 83 degrees across Las Cruces this morning, 80 degrees in El Paso. Off to a very warm start. Here's our highs, though. Check out the hottest locations. Anthony, Socorro at 107, 105 degrees expected for every other area location. And even in the Mesilla Valley, we'll be topping off at 104 degrees 99 will be our cool spot up in Oregon. Now, the next several days look like this. Father's Day, that first alert is in place because that's the day we're going to see the hottest temperatures in the next seven days. We'll be tracking them at 108 degrees, but notice every day we'll have a slim chance to see these isolated storms develop. Stay with us. We've got more news right after the break.